Oh, here I'm back again. I really got to set my room up at the house so I can do that, so I ain't got to go out. I mean, I mean, I like going out. Y'all can see the water and everything, and I like being out here by the water, except it's raining today, so I might as well get these done while I'm out here. But, uh, y'all remember them lights that I did, God, six, seven months ago, the little small ones? There, uh, there was two of them. I got that, and I got the wiring harness, which is going to be good for backing up. They're bright, but they're not that bright. But, uh, I guess for their size, they're, you know, they're good enough. But, I have got some more of theirs. They're a little bit bigger. So, I want to put this one... I mean, I wouldn't mind having, like, a big one going forward and backwards and a smaller one going forward and backwards. But these are made... It says for the front... Which a lot of people put that big beam, but I'm not going to put a big beam. I'm not going to put a big one up there because I use mine for fishing. I don't really need nothing that big. But them little ones wouldn't have been enough to really put a lot of power unless I put them down maybe on my bumper or something. But I have seen some of these ones. And they're supposed to be really bright. They're made just like the big one. They're twice as big as that little one. And I think I could get a lot more light. And I got my uh, rack up there for the, the luggage rack. Bob helped me make that, that bigger one that I had for fishing. He helped me make a thing that goes on there and it's magnetized where I could just put it on top of my vehicle or my trailer. But I want to put these. Yita, Yita Motor, Y-I-T-A. But heat a motor. But I want to get with him because this spring I want to get some lights put on. I haven't put them yet because I if I, I want to try to make a mount to where I could just something that I could put on there, clamp and tighten a, a bolt down. I mean I'm I don't see why I couldn't put something on here that has just a clamp to where I can clamp it onto it and put a nut in a bolt and tighten it down. That way it's easy, easy access to take off. Well, for me. But I, the only thing is I've got to get another wiring harness. I've got I've got the one that came with mine, and I forgot I did a review on a wiring harness God, months ago, and I forgot all about it. Because when I ordered the when I got the little lights in, it came with a harness. I thought I'd get the harness and get the lights, but I ended up ordering the harness and really didn't need it. So I figured I'd use it on my one big one, but the harness is made for two lights. It's not made for a single light. It's the way it's wired up, and it's wired crazy. I, I'm definitely going to get Bob to help me because I'm not into wiring stuff up. I want to make sure I do it right. But these here, and they got the appreciation thing. If you have any problems, give them a call. They got their phone number and um everything on here. When's your chance to try a purchase up to a thousand dollars? Oh yeah, I'll share that along. They're from Washington. And these people got lights for the inside, uh, which my inside lights don't work, but they got them new LED ones. And I watched a guy on a video on a kayak, uh, fishing. Uh, oh damn, 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 damn. He makes rod holders. I've shared his videos on Facebook. I, a lot of y'all ain't on my Facebook. But, uh, Fishing Stuff? Is that what his name is? Fishing Stuff? God, I watch him all the time. But he makes rod holders for the ground, rod holders for your boats, a rod rack holder to put a, he put friggin' 20 rods in out of PVC. He does some cool stuff and he makes some rod holders out of metal. He makes them just looking like, if not better, than a lot of these high dollar ones. But he makes this one for in the ground that it just holds one pole, like for carp fishing or whatever, which I like. I've got that new one I got to use, but uh, I haven't really been out fishing, so I haven't used it. But it's for a single one. You put it in the ground and you put the rod up on there and the rod sticks out like that instead of up in the air. So it's really cool. But he was showing a DIY. He does a lot of DIYs for boats and fish and stuff. But he took a pole, a PVC, and put it in the back of his kayak. And he wired it up with a switch and all, but he took one of them lights for, I guess, for your uh, your blinkers and stuff. 
and he wired it up, put it in a PVC, sealed it all, and had it to where he had a switch, and it lit up. And man, that thing was bright. I mean, a, a backup light, if you take it, the bulb out and turn it on, these new LEDs are really bright. I had a chance to look and review some of them, but I didn't want it. You know, I might maybe next summer get some of them things. They, they don't cost much. That, uh, like five bucks, less than five bucks a piece. They're not very much. Get a set of 12 for like 15 bucks. I can't remember. But, uh, but, uh, but I don't know why I say but uh, all the time. But I really want to try that with the pole. I mean, I do my big lights and all that. But it'd be kind of cool just to get one of them rigged up for the cigarette lighter. Where if I go fishing, I could just take it and put that on a little, uh, I don't know, suction cup or a magnet. And I could just put it on top of my car. And that way it would just light up a certain area. You know, he rigs them up on the little batteries for like uh, lawnmowers and stuff. All right, let's see what's the... Oh my God, I can't see... Man, I got to get my eyes checked. I tell you, that's scary. When your eyes start to go, that is really scary. But come on, guys. Y'all got to put the lumens and everything on here. Y'all have always put the lumens. See, this is where I need to have two... Well, actually, I couldn't look it up. I'm on my other phone. I'm recording on my old phone because my new phone can't record because it ain't strong enough. seven inch ATV waterproof that weigh three pounds you get a boat ATV waterproof lights all right well that's it we will see right now okay Ooh, phone's hot. Ooh, is it the wrong plug? Freaking thing is hot. All right, let me put y'all on pause right quick. I don't want to run this time out. All right. There's seven inch lead light bar, lead pods. Get a motor, two piece, 240 watts, spot flood combo, 32,000 lumens. Wow, 32,000, that's a lot. I wonder if they meant 3,200. I don't understand a lot of that lumens because sometimes you'll see one big and or one smaller and it's actually brighter than a bigger one. But they're lead work lights for off-road driving, fog lamp co compatible for Jeeps, trucks. Yeah, they got the... I was looking that in my bigger one. It's got the inside lights, the middle, but then it's got the ones on the top and the bottom. So I wonder if you can make them do separately. No, I don't see where you can. Let's see. Yeah, but uh, 32,000 lumens. So, I'm pretty sure they're going to be bright because that little one I got, they're half the size. They're pretty bright. They don't light up a big area, but they're small enough to where I can put it on a pole if I'm just fishing on a small area. Or if I'm like here where I, I can't put a lot of light or carry a big battery down, I can just bring a little battery and a little light and I don't I don't brighten it up because Bob has set his, pole, his light up down here and they've had people stop in here talking about, can you turn your light off? You're blinding us. You know, because the road's there, so when you fish, you got to put the light off that away. So a smaller light, you just aim it down at the water, and you ain't got to worry about it. But um, I'll put the link down there. Y'all go check them out. But that's their name, Yetta Motor. Man, that phone is hot. That's that's the plug I got with it. I know they say you got to use the right plug, but it wasn't plugged up. 20 minutes and that is really hot and it's only at 50 percent it didn't even really charge any 
Maybe that's the cord that went to the other one. Because like I say, that other phone that I got, that's loose. Yeah, that's not the right cord. Yeah, that popped in. Yeah, that's the one to this one. Oh, I brought the wrong cord. Well, I got my other cord. You know, they sit there and said you're not supposed to use different cords on phones. Well, when your cord goes bad, you got to buy a new one. You can't go to the dealer and buy the same cord. You know, they don't make cords especially for that that phone. So I don't see where you got to buy the have the one just for it. But anyway, that's ten minutes. That's long enough. I'm gonna try to get mine down to at least ten minutes. Y'all have a good weekend. I hope y'all like them lights. Uh, y'all go check the link in there to see where I got them. You know the price and everything. And the two lights is a really good price. It's actually, I believe, cheaper in Walmart. And they got them same lights there. So, uh, y'all have a good one. Have a safe weekend. And um, don't party too hard. God bless everybody.